Okay, time now for our special focus on Gujarat, which is in the news for a host of reasons. The most recent, of course, was the shock release of the men convicted of raping Bilkis Bano during the 2002 riots. This comes at a time when Gujarat is in the run-up to the elections. But we've also seen an SIT being formed by the Gujarat police to probe those that they believe were wrongly trying to frame Narendra Modi and others for their role in various encounters and including in the riots. So we're actually joined by Mumtaz Patel. She's the daughter of uh, late Ahmed Patel, who's uh, of course the key Congress strategist and advisor uh, to Sonia Gandhi. Uh, thank you very much indeed Mumtaz Patel for joining us. You have largely stayed away uh, from the media. You've not been very much uh, in front of the camera. So this is the first chance we're getting to speak to you. So there's quite a lot to talk about. I know uh, you feel quite strongly about the Bilkis Bano case. And we'll come to that in a second. <laughs> but also yes. because we haven't really had a chance to right. talk to you since, uh, you know, the charges were framed or the SIT was formed to, to basically probe charges against your father with the accusation that he was part of this conspiracy, uh, you know, along with others like Tista Setalwa to try and falsely implicate Narendra Modi, who was then Chief Minister of uh, Gujarat. What, what, are your, what is your response to that? So, I, I mean, I've repeatedly said, why have these charges come up now, six months before the Gujarat election? Uh, why did they not come up when my father was alive? I know that there's an SIT committee that was formed. I know there was an investigation. But it's not as if these witnesses would not have whispered uh, such a big conspiracy like this ever, hmm. you know, with the, the government in Gujarat as well as in the center in the last eight years. It, it's a huge accusation. It's a huge controversy. And it would have been like ideal to use it against my father when he was alive. So I, I don't understand. I feel that it is being used now to target the Congress president. I mean, that is the only reason I see because if you're going hmm. to investigate in court also, uh, where are you going to get the answers from? My father's not there anymore. But uh, Mumtaz, you realize that the context to this was the Supreme Court order which dismissed the petition or the, the, you know, the revision petition in the Zakia Jafri case and in doing so indicated that the petitioners had malified motives and said action should be taken against them and that's what triggered the SIT and brought your late father under its scanner. No, fa fair enough. I, I understand all that. I understand how the system uh, works. However, uh, you know, I, I mean, before it comes to court, you, uh, this is uh, this is India. I mean, this is even media. You come to know uh, these kind of things anyway in whispers. If this this was the case why did it not ever come up why was it why was this particular thing not investigated forget the sit about zakia jafri or about tista Settlewad. you know mm. my father conspiring to bring down a government on behest of mrs gandhi that was big news and that could have been brought up even during the UP years sure but are you saying in effect that these charges are false Uh, well, he is not there to answer anymore and I find it uh, really ridiculous uh, the kind of statements that I heard uh, some installment of 25 lakhs and then 5 lakhs and I mean again I repeat what happened to the other installments you don't bring down a government in 30 lakh rupees and I mean we are not naive even if it was 20 years ago. Okay, uh, but Mutas, uh, you know just, just listening to you speak and all of that and I am sure you are aware of this that this is all partly being seen as uh, in a sense, you're testing the political waters in Gujarat. Is that something which you're considering at all, especially as we head into elections? Okay, no, let me make it very clear. Definitely not. It is just the timing of it that uh, this SIT report came out and uh, the media approached me to speak about uh, mm. this case. And uh, uh, so that is why probably I came up in the news uh, 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 enough last month. And this Bilkis Banu case was something I felt strongly about. As a woman, I, uh, I realized that, you know, if my voice can reach out hmm. uh, to uh, normal people, especially in Gujarat, you know, uh, people are very disappointed, people are uh, very insecure. Sure. And I felt as a responsible citizen, as a woman, if my voice can reach out, I should speak up. And I think it has made the right noise, which is why today I'm on your channel. But as far as the political entry is concerned, are you 
you are saying you are you're ruling that out completely or is it still a possibility? Uh, I, I, are, you, are you talking about Vidhan Sabha elections, electoral politics? Yes, or any kind of politics. Uh, yeah, no, I have no, Sabha, I, Sabha. I have no intention to, con well, at the moment I have no intention to contest the Vidhan Sabha, let me make it clear because there was a lot of uh, media uh, coverage about that when I said that yes, I will come to the Rajneeti. For me, politics is going to be used as a platform to work uh, with the public to do good and I am looking for the right space and time uh, to get an official uh, uh, official entry in the sense that an official role hmm. to be able to do that. So I don't know about electoral politics yet, that time will tell. Uh, uh, we'll see if actually if the public uh, feels that I'm ready for it and they're willing to uh, let me represent them, hmm. of course, I will not say no to that. Okay. But that is going to take time. I mean, I have just started working in Gujarat. I've just started uh, going amongst the people. Hmm. So let me see where that takes me. I mean, I'm in no okay. rush. I, I'm just here to uh, do some good work, which my father started. We're into health and education. I'm, uh, I'm going to be active in Gujarat because people have a lot of expectations from our family back in Baruch. Right. So I would like to be there for but, our people. So uh, Mukta, when you say that, that is what you call politics, yes, then it is politics. <laughs> okay, so you did say that you're, you're kind of also looking to see if you find the right platform and, and the right space. Uh, and if you get an official kind of call up. Uh, so, is it fair to assume that the Congress for you is the, is the right platform in the space? Is it, you know, your father? <laughs> are, you, are, you, are, you baiting, are you baiting me right now? No, <laughs> questions? no I'm so not baiting you. I'm just, I mean, our family I'm just asking you a follow up. <laughs> Uh, okay, no, I, our family has been associated with the Congress now for decades plus. So Congress is, of course, you know, a major part of our life. But at the moment, I'm not. I'm, I haven't even joined the party officially. Let me make that clear. I'm. Uh, I'm simply right now. Also, I'm simply here. You introduced me as Ahmed Patel's daughter. So uh, whatever, uh, whatever love that I'm getting, whatever, uh, whatever uh, respect that I'm getting, whatever, uh, whatever expectations people have from me hmm. is only because I am his daughter, and I, I would like to live up to that name. So that's all I want to say but, at, at this point of time. Okay, fair enough. But uh, you know, the fact is, uh, uh, Mumtaz, that uh, the uh, Congress seems to have had a kind of interesting relationship with your father because you must have seen the tweet from your brother Faisal who tweeted recently saying that he's waiting for some word from the high command he's frustrated ready to give up is considering other options right so I, I don't think considering other options did not mean anything more and I, I think I would like to take this opportunity again since I am on uh, a mainstream channel to say that uh, Faisal took it very hard. Faisal took my father's death very hard. I think it affected him severely. He went into deep depression last year and then he ended up with a brain infection which has caused a lot of health issues for him. Oh, I'm so sorry to there hear are that. times sometimes uh, there are times when you know uh, yeah, yes yes so I, I, I think I should make it very clear. So you know there are times when he's upset and he's uh, low or he's angry and he's frustrated. So time and again he's made I mean he's tweeted a few things which he should not have. So I don't think, I mean, um, uh, people, you know, then make a big deal out of it. But I would like to make it clear that don't uh, take all that very uh, much into uh, consideration at okay. this point of time. Okay. The reason why I ask this, Umtaz, is because when you talk about things like Bilkis Bano, about which you feel strongly, a lot of this is ultimately got to do with political outcomes, right? Who's in charge and who isn't? As it happens, it's a BJP government. Uh, in the state, it's a BJP government which released those men. Now, one of the criticisms, of course, of the Congress has been that that it's been now, what, almost three decades that there's been no Congress government in Gujarat, you know, since 1995. Uh, elections are just a couple right. of months away and we see virtually no activity on the ground. I mean, of course, this is a view from sitting in Delhi, but even from here, one can sense there's no sense that right. the Congress is even remotely in the fight. I mean... Isn't that a problem? You know, I, I, to be honest, I don't know if I should be saying this, but I think I, think I will as a concerned citizen. I, I'm, I'm going to say it as a citizen, as a concerned citizen, nothing to do with the Congress party, mm. anything. But I feel, uh, you know, you need to be connected on the ground. And that is where we've lost 
uh, at some level that is where we are lost at some level and I think major changes need to be made uh, um, that is why I, I, I was very confused till about a year ago and then I realized no I am uh, I, I consider myself youth I think I am educated um, I think I have opinions I think I am hmm. a, a good citizen of the country so I would like more people like this to come forward and be the change so we need to change the system we need okay. to have new ideas we need to have people who are willing to connect on the ground with people in their language in their way I think we need to go beyond this whole caste religion hmm. creed uh, politics at this level you know this is it's just become very murky right now it's about power it's about uh, bringing down governments it's about you know taking over somebody's seat uh, this is what everyone is consumed with everyone I mean you know okay, and so we need to we need to think of people we need to think of the public because that is what you are in politics for right that is why you get elected and you come into power because you have to uh, represent your sure. people, your country. Sure. So when you, but when you talk about the fact so that there is a that, certain that, lack that of that connect, attitude needs to change. Okay. So when you talk about this need for change and you say there is a certain lack of connect, do you think that the Gandhis are doing a good job of running the Congress, or is there a problem? Well, the Gandhis is the glue that connects the Congress for sure. But uh, I think that. Uh, uh, there has to be free run for a lot of people uh, who have uh, the right ideas, the right motives and can, uh, you know, make the party stronger. Okay, interesting <laughs> uh, suggestions there. I think you're also... <laughs> I, 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 I hope I hope you don't now make a ticker out of it and say, you know, go and quote me wrongly, please, I beg you. No, no, that's, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to selectively misquote you. No, of course we won't. But... Uh, <laughs> But, yeah, uh, no, that's why I'm saying don't don't no, bait, no, don't bait me, please. No, 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 we won't. But but uh, again, without saying too much, you also have said quite a lot. Uh, interesting to hear from you, Mumtaz Patel, and uh, all the best with your future plans. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you, thank you so much. I hope the media is kind to me. <laughs> thank you.